Got him. There we go. Yes. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chance Griffin Outdoors. In a few short minutes here, we're gonna be heading out, be doing some catfishing. The flatheads, I know for sure, are definitely feeding. Um, but yeah, it should be a pretty exciting video. You guys stay tuned. Let's go get it. We're gonna make a pit stop at uh, Casey's here real quick. Big shout out to all my Red Bull drinkers out there. We need those. All right, boys, while we're waiting for the crew to show up, I'm gonna be throwing out three catfish rods right here, running the crappie heads tonight. Probably some of the best bait you can get. We're in Iowa, any game fish that you catch on rod and reel, you can use for bait. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, gonna be throwing some right along this uh, bank right here. When the water levels get real high, it carves this side out right here and it makes it real deep. That's probably five or six foot deep. And for this river, that's pretty deep. Um, so we're gonna see if there's any flatheads sitting off these rocks right here. I don't think I'll be able to cast over there because there's a telephone wire there. But uh, we're gonna throw a couple out there and then it looks like there's some structure on this side and just like that side it's deep right out here so we might throw one out there or we might throw it close to the bank i think that's what we'll do we'll throw it right up close to the bank see if any kitties want to play you guys stay tuned rod number one we got the battle cat this is the big boy rod here got the switch on it we're gonna toss this one right out by the bank over there. There's a lot of gar here, so we gotta be careful. And we're probably gonna be fighting the gar all night, but that's all right. There should be some big kitties swimming around in this deep pool. So we're gonna let that sit there. Put about right there. Put the clicker on. If something takes it, we'll hear it. And for rod number two, really wish that telephone wire wasn't there it kind of sucks but we got the silver cat elite casting rod um got the pass the fun uh, reel on there i love this reel it was only 50 bucks on amazon i'm not sponsored but i'd highly recommend you go get yourself one of these these are awesome anyway let's go ahead and cast this out I think we're gonna throw it right out there. Right out there. Definitely feeling some rocks there. This time of the year when the water temps are going up, the flatheads are gonna be spawning right up in them rocks. So that's a good spot. Set the clicker on it. Turn it. And for rod number three, this is more of a channel cat rod, but I've caught big fish on this rod. I've had this rod for a long time. It's just a ugly stick. Can't even remember where I got it, but it's a medium heavy rod, real lightweight. And uh, this is just a cheap reel I got from Walmart. I think we're gonna put this one right out in the current over here. We might end up catching some big channels too. This one does not have a bait clicker, so. I don't want any of these rods getting ripped in the water. I've had it happen. I don't want it to happen again, but got all three rods out. You guys stay tuned and let's see if we can't catch something good. All right guys, while we're waiting for these catfish, there's like a million of these short nosed guards down here swimming around. So I got a little, just a little jig head, small hook. You don't need a big hook for them. Um, we're gonna drop it down and see if we can get one. There's one swimming right over there.
think he got it. Yep. Oh, watch out. It's all right. I got it. I know what I'm doing. Oh, there's one right there. Right there. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eat the bait. Eat the bait. Eat the bait. Let me know if you see any more. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, there's a big one in there. That one's eating. Got him. There we go. Yes. Come on. That's a good size one, too. My line's not super strong. Oh, he's fighting good. Oh, these things are so rowdy. Come on. Almost got him. Come on. Oh. Yes. We got him. Whoo. Look at that, boys. That's a good size short nose right there. These things have some very sharp teeth, so you got to be very careful. There we go, boys. Right off the bridge. He'll make some good eating for tonight. Look who showed up. Yo, what's up? It's Drew. You brought along. What'd you bring, Drew? Let me see. See Garlic. what you got. Garlic shrimp. Oh yeah. We're gonna be throwing some shrimp out too. I only have like two crappie heads left, so. But in the meantime, we're gonna try to catch another gar. Heidi's over there trying to hook one up. Boys, here we go. We got we got one in the line line of sights right out there. See if he goes for it. He ate it. I'm gonna let him eat it for a second. Suck the hook. There we go. Oh, he flew off the. Oh, this one's a little bit smaller, but we got him, boys. Right in the snout. Look at that. Oh, he kicked me in the face. Hell yeah. Got another one, Drew. Oh, it's a big ass turtle. What? It's a big ass turtle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> big ass snapper. Holy shit. You might be able to climb down the side by the bridge. Yeah, you could get down right here, maybe. Damn, dude. I thought I hooked into a giant flathead. Sorry. I have my hit. There it goes. Oh, got something. Got something. It's on my it's on my line. Oh shit. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's probably a flathead. Shine down, shine down. What do we got? Channel. Oh, oh it's a channel? Good channel. It feels decent, decent one. Yeah, good channel. This bridge. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this braid will hold it. I think it's like 40. It should. We pulled his gar up on 15. Mm hmm. Heck okay. yeah. That ain't bad. Nice channel. I know this rod will take it for sure. Do you want to line line it up? There we go. <laughs> Is that you, boys? Good. 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 Right there. Bring it over. Bring it over. Get him over. Get in the boat. Yeah. Woo! -wee. Yeah. Good. That's boy. what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Up, shine the light at him. Healthy little channel. Yeah. Yep, it's his lucky day. He's lucky we ain't all starving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a release on all right. him. Hello. Later, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. 
Uh, before we go do any catfishing, this is actually day number two of the video. We're gonna go ahead and try again for some flatheads tonight as well. Just me and Heidi tonight. I got a little bit of daylight left. I'm gonna go try to catch some bluegill. Uh, I got some Ziplocs. We're just gonna go ahead and cut them up for, for uh, cut bait. The catfish have been hitting really good on cut bluegill. And I, I got a pretty good spot um, where I can catch some bluegill. So let's see if we can't get maybe 10 of them. They should be pretty easy to catch. And we'll get 10 just because we're going to be running probably four, four, maybe five rods tonight. Um, so yeah, you guys stay tuned. All right, guys. That is what catfish bait looks like right there it's the first one beautiful bluegill um, gonna chunk that guy up and put him in this ziploc bluegill number nine right there that's about a medium sized one good for live bait but I'll show you what we're doing. I've been cutting the dorsal fin off here and the bottom fin. And then I cut this part and I throw them in the bag and let them bleed out. And I got four in each Ziploc. Got two Ziplocs. Should only need one tonight. Now throw the other one in the freezer. But, yep. Here we go. You guys, I can't keep this one for bait. This one's just too big and too beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and let her back. There she goes. Alrighty guys, as you can see, one, two, I think we got like three in there, but we got plenty of catfish bait. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap stuff up here, head back up to the truck, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're back out here for night number two. It's me, and my beautiful girlfriend, Heidi. We got all the stuff down to the spot. As you see, my crutches, because I broke my legs. Couple months ago got the fishing rods got the bait cut bluegill in a little bit we're gonna have a fire and roast some marshmallows but for now we're gonna get baits on the poles and get the poles casted out let's do it got the bluegill chunk on the a dot circle hooks from team catfish we're gonna go ahead and work our way over here First rod, just gonna kind of lob it out there, not too far. About 30 yards or so. About eight foot of water. And loosen the drag and get rod number one out. Got rod number two going out next. We got a storm front coming in around two a.m. What's the time right now, babe? Let me check here. 10, 10, 16. So we got a few hours. Um, not sure if the storm front's gonna mess the fishing up or how that works, but hopefully it turns the flatheads on. We'll just kind of have to see. Sometimes it turns them on, sometimes it turns them off. There we go, rod number two. I got the third rod rigged up and ready to roll. Um, this stuff works pretty good. Shad formula works really good. It gets the fish to hit the bait way harder than they would without it. I don't know what's in it that makes it so good but i highly recommend you go get you some anyway we're gonna get rod number three out we're gonna cast this one a little bit further out there probably about 40 yards a little bit deeper in the water column there's a pretty uh severe drop off in this river and uh 
it's just best to kind of spread the rods out. I like using different size baits. Sometimes the fish prefer live bait. Sometimes they only like big cut bait. Sometimes they only eat small pieces of cut bait. It just all depends. So I recommend you guys just try different things. But rod number three is out. All right, guys, check out this bait. That is the biggest bait of the night. We're throwing it on the big boy rod. We're gonna throw this one out right out in front of us. All right, rod number three, going out. Right there. All right, boys, got that rod out. Got this rod out, that rod and that rod. All we're going to do now is hang out, cook some marshmallows here in a little bit, and uh, see if a big old kitty cat wants to come out and play. You guys stay tuned. All right. Big shout out to the Boy Scouts of America. I never got my Eagle Scout, but I did get my Life Scout, and I do know how to start a fire. Step one, just get you some lighter fluid here. Sprinkle it in there like so. Get your handy dandy lighter. And uh, move, the lighter move that out of the way. Like and subscribe for more survival tips. Do you want to do it? You set he, that up. He has it. You set that up. Okay. We're going to give him some line. Pull backwards. Make sure he has it. Got him. Yep. He's a good one. Here you go. There he is. Don't let. Once he lets up, you start reeling. Don't pull it, pull it hard back, just slowly pull him. There you go. Pull, pull, pull. And if he runs with it, just keep the rod tip up, let him run. But you almost got him, he's right there. That's a good one. Keep him over here, walk over here. Keep tension on it. Oh, that's a big one, babe. Here, just walk backwards, pulling backwards. I'll grab her. Just keep going. There's Big Mama right there on the crappie head. You got it. There we go. Woo! There we go, baby. Yes. That's a good fish right there, baby. <laughs> Was that him? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fish right there, baby. Cooked right corner of the mouth. Was not coming off. On the big crappie head right there. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Look at that beast. Heidi's first flathead ever. We're gonna get some pictures, try to get a weight on my cheap Walmart scale, and uh, get her back in. Good job. Good job. Turn that off for a moment. All right, guys, we're gonna try to get a weight on this fish. This scale is not the best, but. It says 25, give or take. I'm guessing probably 30, but uh, drop a comment, tell me what you guys think. I think she's 30. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. She's probably gonna freak out. 
We'll let her sit out there and when she's ready, she'll take off. There she goes. Got him. Yep. Oh. Is he running towards me? Yep. There he is. Oh, damn. Dude, he was running at me for like 10 seconds. Oh. We're hooked up again, boys. About 30 minutes after, after Heidi's. I don't even think it's been that long. Yeah. We were just looking at the pictures of Heidi's fish. Messing with the fire. All of a sudden, we heard the line drag. About spooled my rod. We had to run over to it. Feels like a good fish. He was just taken off. Going all the way to the back. He's gonna come up. Wait a minute. Is that a flathead? Er, he ain't as big as the last one. I almost think it's a gar. There's no way a gar could run like that. That's a big channel cat. Come here, buddy. Holy cow, that's a big channel. Jesus. Okay, he's ready to try to freak you out. Okay, real quick. Hooked right on the corner of the mouth. Oh, fuck. Look at that fish, guys. Damn. Holy cow. This is like a 10 pound channel cat. All right, let's get a couple pictures of him and throw him back. That's a good, healthy channel cat. 10 pounder, going back. He's stuck. Everybody, I'm sorry. Come on, get out there. See you later, buddy. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And be sure to look out for a video coming up real soon, uh, the annual guys trip. We're heading down south like we did last year. We're going to do some noodling and hopefully pull in some big catfish with our hands. So you guys uh, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.